Hello, thank you so much everyone for giving me your time and attention for this quick thought that I hope is helpful to you in some way. I want to uh, jump straight into the baptism of Jesus right at the very beginning of his ministry. Whereas Jesus came up out of the water, he heard very clearly God say three things to him that I think resonate down the centuries to each one of us. Thing number one, God says, you are my son. What is that? That's identity. Whom I love, thing number two, acceptance. And then finally, Jesus is told before he's even said anything significant, let alone done anything, in you I am well pleased, approval. And if we can get our identity, our acceptance and approval from God alone, and I mean really get that, I think, like Jesus, we can become unstoppable. Jesus was undeterred by anything. He set his face like flint to Jerusalem in his ministry because he knew who he was in God before anything else. And at this time of uncertainty, where our identities are thrown into new levels of crisis as people lose jobs and with no more school, if we find our identity in sport and that's all gone with the gyms closed and the sports clubs, we can be assured that God does not change. And sometimes we look for our acceptance and approval in all the wrong places. For, for pupils, it's so easy to understand how we get that from other people in, in our classes, our peer group, sometimes for good or bad. But let's look afresh to God. This Easter as we focus on the cross and the resurrection, the other side of the cross, and we enjoy living that resurrection life, yes, in eternity, but in a real sense, this side of eternity. As we draw this Lent season to a close, may we know that resurrection life and that unchanging God who gives us that identity, acceptance and approval unconditionally. May you know that afresh this time in your life. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you all.